What is Cheat Sheet? Well, it's a web series that I hope will carry you through to the election. Not only am I going to implore you to vote for Joe Biden, but also we're gonna provide you a cheat sheet to help elect progressive candidates down the ballot in all the swing states. Today's episode, Arizona! Zona! Zona! Today's guest has represented youth culture in America for decades, and she's transitioned into being a badass, grown-ass woman and mom really openly and transparently with authenticity. She is a vocal advocate for progressive issues and women's rights. We've known her our entire lives, and yet she's so young. She is timeless. You know her from your teenage dreams in Freaks and Geeks, Dawson's Creek, ER, Cougar Town, Busy Tonight. This woman can do anything. She's a woke-ass Arizonian. Give it up for Busy Phil! Thanks for having me. This is so exciting. <sighs> Thanks so much for being a part of this, Busy. I really... Appreciate it, and I think your audience will too, and Arizonians will. Yeah, well, I have to say, like, first of all, when I saw what it was in the cheat sheet, I have always voted, and my parents always voted every election, down ballot, up ballot. The one thing that I learned from my mother very early on and that I've continued is a cheat sheet. I don't go to the polls without it. I get too nerd. I'm too scared. And it's also like, I feel like an idiot. I'm like, who? I'm Googling people in the booth. They make it hard on purpose because a very small percent of people with a lot of wealth in this country control a lot of the major issues. And so if you and I are intimidated walking into a poll and we're like, oh, I'm not going to vote for SB 1070. I don't even know what that is. Then they fucking win. <laughs> like they get their way. Okay, so Busy, where did you go to high school? I went to Chaparral High School in Scottsdale, Arizona on Gold Dust Avenue, and I worked at the California Pizza Kitchen down the street. <laughs> God, I can picture you there. What was it like to grow up in Arizona? I often felt sort of different. <laughs> there was a lot of really proud Republican generational, <laughs> like your kids like take on your views and they think they know things. I love the desert. It's really special and healing to me. Arizona! Oh. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about Joe Biden. Like, not my first choice, but I mean, I'll do whatever. <laughs> we'll do whatever. You need a ride to the polls? You can call me. I will be there. What do you need? It's such a fucking emergency, right? This is like a matter of life or death for human beings which we've already experienced so much fucking death this year by the ineptitude of the leadership. For a country that fucking loves superhero movies, recognize a villain, guys. Not a joke, Alana. <laughs> my daughter, my little one, who she just turned seven, when Trump was first voted into office, you know, kids have like magical thinking. She thought he was a cartoon character. Like, for real. Damn. And the problem for the rest of us now is that if the truth is not real and science is not real, then anything fucking goes. You know, we've been saying I'm not stoked, but I'm down. But I'm like, I am fucking stoked on the biggest climate proposal of a major nominee in fucking history. This country needs that so bad. Yeah. We need jobs. And like, that's where the jobs are going to be. Part of all of our jobs in this moment in time is to recognize the pivot and the opportunity. This is what we got, and like, I'm all in. Vote Biden and ride up, yeah! Ew, what? Well, what I mean is, if we get Biden in office for the next four years, the progressive movement is gonna have such a better opportunity to get shit done than Daniel fucking drum. Get out of here, dude. That's just a standstill. That's just a decimation of human rights. Hard stop. That's it. Let's just get Biden in first, and then we're going to hold him accountable to pass progressive policy. It's going to be great. Let's do it. Vote Biden, then ride him. We're going to vote <laughs> him in. Then we are going to ride him like a pony left. He, he wants, wants it. it. That's right. I know he wants it. That's right. He wants to be ridden, you know? Like, I can't ride the sociopath in chief. I don't want to, and there's no game there. Vote Biden, then ride him. I'm into it. I'm gonna do it. Let's check out the stakes. Arizona is traditionally conservative. The Republicans usually win by like eight points. But in 2016, Trump only won by three points. So actually, progressives are starting to get up and get out there and vote. 
The biggest thing is that there is a federal Senate race in Arizona that could help the Senate become blue. And honestly, to me, it's almost the most important thing in Arizona. There's two, if you go to the polls and you're like, I don't, I can't remember a damn thing, remember this. You are voting for Biden and you are voting for Mark Kelly. Just a few things about Arizona. They have racist immigration bills that are really Gestapo-y. SB 1070 passed after my time in Arizona was done. I was there in the 80s or whatever when Arizona voted to get rid of MLK Day. The first time I remember like watching SNL and being like- I think it was Norm MacDonald, I remember. Yeah, so literally like from when I was a kid, I was like, oh, I live in a state with a bunch of racist people. That's insane, but I don't. I know that I didn't. I know that that's not like the core of the people of Arizona. I also know that the young Latino vote has really, really helped our state in the last almost decade, right? You know all the shit. I know the sheriff that beat Joe Arpaio, Paul Penzone, his wife cuts my mom's hair. <laughs> True, the Latinx community makes up 30% of the population. And after that racist fucking bill was passed, SB 1070, they really rose up and have shown out. If you're at home and you're a privileged white person who's watching this because you like my Instagram and you're like, wait, what was... SB 1070, because I didn't vote yet. That's the law where basically anyone driving, the police can be like, I need to see proof that you're a citizen and they can call ICE on you. Who carries proof of their citizenship on them? Do you have it? No. What I is my passport? I don't even know. What is it? What is proof of citizenship? Just want to say Arizona has an F rating for gun safety. Fucking yikes. Education. Arizona ranks 45th in paying teachers. We really want to get progressives elected to Arizona so that the people of Arizona can live better lives and be safer. And what that means is showing up to vote if you're not a fucking racist. You have to remember that like all the old people in Sun City have nothing else to do on November 3rd. You have lots of choices. You can vote early. The registration in Arizona, you cannot register on the same day and vote. In Arizona, it's October 5th. I know that because that's my sister's birthday. Let's get into the meat and potatoes. <laughs> okay, busy. Let's get down to the down ballot candidates. So Mark Kelly. All the Democrats need is four gains of a seat, I believe. But Mark Kelly is one of them. He is dope. He is wonderful. And Martha McSally, who he is running against, she's anti-immigration, all for like national security. She's not good for healthcare, guys. Real bad, real bad. She's not for anyone but herself. Captain Mark Kelly would be such a better senator for Arizona and this country, but the only way to make that happen is to vote. Felicia French is such a badass. She is a retired U.S. Army colonel with 32 years of military service. She's a nurse, a medivac helicopter pilot, an entrepreneur, and a proud mom. If elected, she's gonna advocate for education that puts children first, healthcare that is accessible and affordable, and taxpayer accountability. Felicia French, I'm on board. This is Coral Evans, who is currently the mayor of Flagstaff. Coral Evans stands for making the education system healthier, for small businesses, and for preserving the environment. And the final one is Joanna Mendoza. She grew up so poor, so fucked over by the system, has risen up out of that poverty designed to keep her down and is running. Joanna Mendoza is not just such a badass, she's a veteran. Like, this is who you want representing you guys. You are so smart, Busy. It's scary. You know your fucking shit. I am loving it. I'm trying, but here's the other thing, Alana, that I really think is valuable and why I love this too, is like, I know some shit. I don't know all shit. And I think that it's important to like recognize the stuff you don't know. That's okay. It's okay to not know shit. Busy Phillips knows it's totally normal and cool and okay to not know shit. So pass around this cheat sheet to Arizonians. Email it to your friends. Tell people when you're going to the polls, how you're voting, when the deadlines are. Commit to voting and make a plan. That's the only way to do it. Guys, go to this website to check if you're registered to vote and vote by mail. A Generator video has a simple format to make it easy to use your social media to talk about politics and government and humanize policy. 
My name is Busy Phillips. I was kind of raised in Arizona and I live in California. And then I love is riding my bike with my kids. I'm still really focused on women's health care overall and protecting women no matter what their zip code and what the color of their skin and making sure that they have access to safe abortions and legal abortions. Thank you so much for being here, Busy. It's like you do know shit, but you're also completely representing how normal it is not to know and to be just the curiosity. You're amazing, dude. Thank you so much for joining us. Well, I really appreciate everything that you do. And I'm such a huge fan of how you've like used your platform. And it's just all we can do is our best. Because I do think, man, that like at the end of the day, everybody wants good things. They don't want to be take things away from people. They don't want to rip families apart. You're so correct. Go vote, Arizona. I love you. Feeling extra? Extra. 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 If you are young and you are healthy, volunteer to work the polls this November. That is the best thing you can do to save our democracy. Powertothepolls.org. Must see Thursdays. They were talking about cheat sheets. See you Thursday. <laughs>